On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, I am continuing to add on to my Godzilla X Kong collection, this time with the second wave of Godzilla X Kong The New Empire Hollow Earth Crystals, a second wave of green, pink, yellow, and red. Oh, look at there. Titanus, Doug, and Suko very excited as they should be included this time inside these Hollow Earth Crystals. Also another round of Playmates Toys action figures. We've got a new Kong, we've got a new Zilla, and a Tiamat is on the table. Very excited to see these guys together. So follow along as we go through some more Hollow Earth Crystals. Perhaps inside a Crystal Squirrel? Maybe a Crystal Squirrel? Smile, Please like. Share and Squirrel Live. And here we go with Godzilla X Kong the New Empire Hollow Earth Crystal with mini surprise monster inside Wave 2. These are like the best when you gotta have a Kong or a Godzilla right away, a miniature. And everything is packed up and stored really nicely in these Godzilla X Kong the New Empire Crystals. Hollow Earth Crystal. And like before, there's some peering and peeking tricks you may be able to figure out who's inside based off the shape of the plastic. And to distinguish between Wave 2 and Wave 1, a new set of colors, there's a new color set here. We've got like a fuchsia pink, green, yellow, and a lighter blue, I believe. And of course, well, just look at the package, it'll tell you what's inside. There's a Kong with his gorilla arms raised high. There's a Suko. Oh, a Mothra enters the game. Wart Dog, oh that's a fun one. Godzilla Unevolved and a Titanus Doug. Doug. Uh, Titanus Doug. Ooh, that's a couple extra monsters over Series 1. Series 1 only had four, right? Was it four? These guys seem to get out all the time on me. We had Shimu, Mini Shimu, Scar King, Kong with the Beast Glove, and an Evolved Godzilla. So there was Series 1. Now we gotta test our luck with this new shelf displayer. I know, I know, Doug. We gotta work with the contrast here. The crystals are causing havoc on our camera today, especially the yellow one. Let's see who is going to be our first surprise monster. I should say, if you're exceptionally careful with unboxing, you'll be able to keep your crystal packaging and everything intact. I love my Series 1 crystals. They're looking awesome. Now, any ideas from the shape we are seeing inside? I think it's Brontosaurian. Is there a Brontosaurian in Godzilla X Kong? I don't, I don't think there was. Well, it might be one of those wolf dogs. I think it might be that dog. That's my guess. Let's see if I'm right. It is a, it is a little wolf pup. Ah, oh, it's an exceptionally cute wart dog. This might be the first and best and only new Hollow Earth crystal with the surprise mini monster that's actually truly unique and different when I say a very random early monster in the movie. We're getting a lot of Kongs and Zillas, but we need more things like this. I feel like there's a little bit of next level up detail with this one here. Jaws wide open, ready for bite. Little tiny eyes and brown and fluffy. That's a really nice little miniature. Oh, I really hope that they can give us some little miniature playsets soon with these. When you go this small, it's much easier to give them a little world to live on. Very good, our first wart dog. Now, let's see here. There's also a little printed code here on the crystal. I don't know if you can peer into that pack and catch that number right there. You might be able to uh, pull the, uh, the unspotted, unflapping, only one-tailed wart dog. I'm kind of hoping with this mini collection, by picking up a display box, I'll get them all. But we don't know yet. We don't know yet for sure. That was yellow. Let's pull another one. How about green? How about the beautiful green? Oh, once again, it's bringing havoc on our contrast. These crystals are highly unstable. I like this new green crystal. It may be the best to balance out the palette of other great crystal colors. All right, what do you think, guys? What do you think is in this one? Pretty sure I see the back end of Kong on this one. It's a little bit sculpted. It's a little bit sculpted down by his waist. That's my guess though. It could it could be Godzilla, you never know, right? Pretty sure it's Kong. I don't believe these are based off color. I think it's uh, whoever's in whatever. And there he is, Kong. I think you're gonna find anything in any possible color. 
And so Kong is here with his fists raised high before the beast glove, maybe before he got his uh, silver tooth installed. Maybe right prior at the start of the movie, I would suppose. Uh, there he is with his beast glove from the first wave of Hollow Earth Crystals. One would say, oh, I wish there was a little articulation in here, at least at the arms. That might be kind of neat, but you know, sometimes with miniatures, it's just fun to have them static and have them fight. Well, good. At least we found two unique figures. Wouldn't that be funny if that's all we got were Kongs and Wart Dogs today? Actually, a pack of Wart Dogs would be pretty sweet, not gonna lie. This is a good fuchsia color to contrast with the red from the first wave. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more pink than that red. If they do a wave three, I think they're gonna start running out of colors though. That's a really nice plaid hollow earth crystal. Um, who could this be? Doug's in this series, right? Titanius Doug? Yeah, so I'm guessing this is Doug. I can see kind of his body shape there. And oh, certainly this side even looks even more Dougy. Well, let's see if I'm correct. And it is. Wow, he's almost the same scale as the figure. Careful, careful, Doug, careful. If I do this right, he can sit on that pad there. <laughs> he feels almost in scale with the uh, Playmates action figure, Doug. Doug, why do I keep saying Doug? Uh, maybe because an old Star Control game. Um, yeah, he's almost in the same scale in a way. Maybe half his size, though. That is cool. Get him on the floor. Big, big fan favorite with this one. Everyone always wants Doug. Must be the name and just the overall awesomeness of this little, smaller, shorter, stocky titan. Glad they entered him into the show. Now I guess we just have to find his buddy Suko. There always seems to be packed together. What color? I guess we have not tried this blue. This interesting blue. It's gonna be nice to get this up against that wave one again. It's a little purple too. It's got a little violet in there. Really quite pretty. It'd be fun to figure out a way to like get LEDs in these crystals and light them up. That would have been a fun idea, but it probably would have raised their price by a few bucks. All right. <laughs> Can you guess this one? I'm thinking Zilla, Godzilla Evolved. What are you thinking? That's my best guess. So it could be another wart dog. And I don't think it's Mothra yet. Mothra has softer, subtle features. Well, well. And of course, Zilla God is here. Whoa, whoa. Oh, sorry, buddy. So lumbering in is unevolved Godzilla. And this series must be the best low cost option for getting some micro Zillas. Sometimes they get really overly expensive when you get them from certain brands like Super 7 or other interesting polybag stuff. They can get really high, so it's nice to see these under 10. I think these crystals are $4.99, $3.99 a piece. They're, they're a really good deal. And you can see Zilla there, unevolved. Let's bring in evolved from wave one. Glad they're giving us a basic unevolved. I like the unevolved look quite a bit. A lot more chunky, a lot of a darker color there. The blue on his dorsal fins. A little blue eye there next to his more muscular and trimmed counterpart, evolved part. So good on that. Good to see Godzilla here today. Just be nice to each other in the lunch line, guys. So wave one also had a purple and what's throwing me is the plastic inside. I think this is almost the same. How, how do I tell this? Let's break this out. Just curious, just curious right now. Here's a wave one with that pink inner lining. Ooh. Oh yeah, I think these are exactly the same. So they kind of gave us a second run of the purple crystal. It throws you because of these yellow panels inside. That helps throw the color a little bit, makes it feel a little softer. And it's certainly a lot different than say this blue and another crystal let's go back to fuchsia we're hoping to find a mothra and a suko and i wonder how suko's scale is going to go he's going to be like just as big as kong which is going to be a little bit wrong well what do you think i see a shape of an anthropod an anthropod that's not a gorillian thing this has got to be Suko, and it looks a little smaller, so maybe he won't be too, too larger compared to Kong. Sure enough. Oh, whoa, oh, watch out. Oh, he's hanging on. He's hanging on. Ah! Yay, little Suko with his arm raised high. 
And you know, he's a little bit large compared to Kong. Okay, he's a lot of bit large compared to Kong here, but uh, they gave him at least a half a head shorter height. Of course, that didn't help by raising his arm and starts making him look almost the same scale as Kong. If, if I put him this way, I don't know. He's pretty big, but you can't go, if he was super micro, if he was scaled, we'd be looking at this tiny, tiny little piece of Suko here. He'd probably be like a, a quarter of an inch tall and it would have been really awkward. You'd have nothing to play with. So we're gonna give this a pretty cool rating. Again, the detail with these pretty good, nice little green eyes, nice little reddish orange fur. Very much like you would see Suko on screen. Now we gotta find Mothra. Mothra, where are you? Mm, I don't think that's a Mothra. I think that might be another dog. So like I was saying earlier, you can peer in and kind of grab the code maybe to see, but I'm having trouble. I, this is just too big. I don't think that's Mothra. Gotta be a Mothra in this pack. There's just gotta be. Hmm. Okay, this one. This one I'm pretty sure I can identify by those sculpted uh, lower region of Kong. So I'm pretty sure this is a Kong. And the last crystal in the back, although I think I moved him around a little bit. Well, this is promise. Yeah, yeah, I think this is a Mothra. I kinda kinda see like a V shape in there, which kinda would be the wings. And usually if you find an undisturbed shelf box, it means good things. Like why would they not have a Mothra in there even if she was short packed? Okay, what is going to be? It's gonna be Mothra. Oops. It's gonna be Mothra for sure. That can only be the shape of a moth or an undersea clam. Well, we'll see. And it's Mothra! Whoa! Careful, Mothra! Whoa, whoa, whoa! She's so little. She's so tiny. She's so, so backwards. Let's flip her. There we go. Now we got a Mothra. So much goes into those wings. Got like a teeny tiny body of four legs holding up to these giant feather wings. And I think, oh, how unfortunate. Stickers. Yeah. Stickers are what decorates her wings. Most of the time, these are pretty well detailed with paint. Although, not much paint. I think it would have been, it would have been hard to have painted these in somehow, would they? Maybe, eh, maybe not. I think they could have tried. They could have tried. So you got some sticker print there, which really kind of weakens her look. You see it glossy in the light. It takes away from just the overall coolness of it. Uh, it's okay. And onto her little buggy body there. <laughs> sure strange looking. Absolutely strange looking. But it's a Mothra. Glad to share a Mothra. And we collected the new Wave 2 full set. Mothra Kong with arms raised high. Suku with only one arm raised high, whatever that means. Uh, Godzilla, our cute little puppy dog. And where did Doug go? Doug, excuse me, always Doug. There's Doug, there's Titanium. Titanius, what? Titanius. What? Titanus, excuse me. Titanus Doug. Well, I think the second wave was uh, oddly better than the first because there were a couple more minis to find. The first wave only at four was pretty quick. But now we've got most of everything you would want from a full cast. You've got a couple Kongs, Scar King back here to cause trouble, Godzilla to evolve with, and of course, Ashimo. So there's your full collection so far of micro miniatures. Not sure if we'll see a third run of this group. My guess is Playmates will give us something from just all around. So a good collection, and I totally recommend if you can, Try to nab one of these display boxes when you buy these. If you can buy enough of them, you can pretty much throw the display pad into a bag over at Walmart. I think it's not frowned upon. I think they don't mind. Especially if you buy most of these crystals. But I love these little display pads. These I keep too. As it feels like some sort of alien control panel. Beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop, boop. All right, and next up, we have a couple new additions to our Playmates toys. Godzilla X-Kong, the new action figures, the new Empire. You can see here we've got Tiamat just sitting nicely, ever so patient off to the side. Also found a Kong with battle axe here. And you may have noticed a Godzilla energized off to the screen too. So this collection was kind of featuring some of the leftovers, but I knew right away when I saw Tiamat, I wanted to get that one. Really quick, her backup box, 
I had opened Tiamat earlier. I was so excited. Tiamat was submarine. Deep in the Arctic Ocean, the bioluminescent power of Tiamat pushes back the darkness to reveal the intruders like the Monarch Recon Submarine. Fully poseable, really, out of all these Godzilla X Kong figures, one of the best, I really think. There's a little bit of noise going around whether this one was the right Titan's name or was this a good figure. I think it's a terrific figure from the Playmates Toys lines at this cost. For $10, you're getting a pretty lengthy Sea Dragon at about 9 or 10 inches in length and about 4 inches in height. Pretty large scale dragon with a ton of points of articulation. You've got an opening and closing mouth there. Lots of really cool tendrils. I love the look of that head. Moving arms, front arms on posts and all these pivot points at the body. There's a pivot point here. There's another one in the central body, another central central body, and then the back end body tail, and then more movable legs. So there is a lot of posing with this one, albeit a little bit loose, but still at the price point, I think it's terrific. Yeah, look at that amazing head. Not the most painted, but a lot of things going on with this one with all her flower ears, whatever you want to call it, flower petal ears. Nice little spiky, spiky tendrils and a little bit of a bearded dragon look going there. Really cool looking head. It, is it Manda? The Manda, the long snaky like dragon titan, gets a little bit confused with Tiamat. Tiamat sometimes they like described as a dragon with multi heads, but I think in the Godzilla verse, the sea monster here, right, is right? I, I don't know, a little confused there. Let us know in the comments what you think about this. I think it's a really cool looking figure. Oh yes, that's right. Tiamat here also comes with a tiny, tiny micro submarine. There always seems to be an accessory included and it's a tiny, tiny submarine. Ouch. Okay, next lumbering in is the energized Godzilla. This was the second figure I was really interested in this wave. I really like the unevolved Zilla God still. Why do I keep saying Zilla God? I like the blue on this one, just ready to shock the world. Most likely though, a repaint of our first unevolved Zilla from the start of the wave here. Godzilla energized, really quite blue, sprayed on up with a translucent back panel thing. Unevolved Zilla here, just your classic. They're certainly looking like the same figure, but sometimes they like to play tricks on me and they're actually different. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say these two are the same. I feel like I see the same leg pattern going there when we place them this way. And they each both have that central chunk of chest you can rip on out. Although this one actually feels glued on in, how funny. I just like this one and the price point at $10 is just, you can't beat that so it's fun to get. As for Kong, that's the third figure of this wave. Now this is Battle Axe Kong, so say from the start of the Godzilla X Kong. They gave us the Beast Glove first in figure form, and there he is. And so now they're giving us a Battle Axe Glove character, which I believe we've kind of sort of seen too in Godzilla vs. Kong. There he is with his axe, but he's looking just a little more just too rugged. Oops! With less nutrition. This guy is a little more, yeah, I, I, yeah. I think this is a nice looking update. Better, softer face for sure with this update. So I picked it up too, again, with the price point. Over on the back of the box again with these, Kong with battle axe wielding his ancestral axe recovered from the depths of hollow earth. The almighty Kong is ready to defend his territory from any challengers. And there's the collection of this wave. I thought there was a, for some reason, I thought there was a small Mothra, but I, don't. I think there's a super large Mothra, but that is like becoming super hard to find. So let's say we snip this guy out. He's got a lot of ties. They do not want this guy escaping at the factories. Even the heavy duty zip tie down there. That guy's not moving far. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yay. Oh, sorry. And so there we go. This is another nice addition to the MonsterVerse line. A little more refined with this one, especially again on that head. Much better paint work there. You got your Battle Axe accessory that felt like it was missing with the Beast Glove version and a pretty well overall articulated Gong figure, shoulders. Wow, he's so tight right now. Elbows, wrists, head rotation, legs. You can kind of bend up into more of a monkey stance or you can go tall if you wish and have them a little more extended. Oh, that, this is a really nice looking Kong, I gotta say. Again, up against himself with the Beast Glove, there he is. 
Look at that. So you got a couple options. Obviously the beast glove option is probably the way to go because that's such a signature moment in the show. But you do like that battle axe, right? So they really get you there. And well, once again with uh, Godzilla versus Kong. Kong, yeah, that's that's a little bit over the top. Is that the same? Almost looks like, no, that's maybe, hard to say if that's the same axe. It feels like it's slightly different. So I think it's slightly different. But yeah, this one, really ferocious looking. Like that's probably a battle scene where he's extra mad. Whereas this one feels like he's that lovable Kong from Godzilla x Kong. And maybe now with the wart dog, you find a few more of these wart dogs. That's kind of a fun scale, right? I think it's a, maybe a little bit smaller than it could be, but that's a pretty cool scale. Find three or four of these for a pack, and he can look around for lunch. So you're starting to see these on shelf a little more and more. I'm starting to see Tiamat a little bit more. Check over at Walmart is usually the better location, but Target has them too. Can't remember if there's a Mothra to this collection or not. There should be. There should be a scaled Mothra to this size, but I know there is the larger Mothra to go with the big figures. I'm still on the hunt for one. We'll see if we can pick one up at some point. Oh, and I should say the box of Godzilla Energized has a little battle drone included. That's fun. I always lose stuff like this, so I kind of left it in the box for the moment. And the bio on Godzilla Energized is supercharged on raw energy. Godzilla is coursing with the surplus power. Blue veins of fire crackled beneath the surface of his skin just waiting to erupt. Love the bios on these. And that's today's collection editions. I love these hollow earth crystals. They're just so interesting, so vibrantly colorful and fun to shelf on display. And those additional Godzilla Kong figures looking good. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, squirrel eye, but squam at your favorite Godzilla X Kong figure. Don't forget we have a squirrel stampede merch out there, t-shirts, water bottles, plush landry and i think we fixed the link thank you so much for watching that's what i have to say about that now with fear he's clear